If you're not into solo leveling by the last episode, I'm sorry. I think that's over for you. But holy goddamn, like the the turning point of Sung Jin Mu awakening his cold ruthlessness. I mean, the system literally told them, hey, you better kill him or your heart's going to stop. So it's like, I don't really have a choice though, huh? It's interesting though how the system keeps doing this. It's like he's trying to keep Sung Jin Mu alive and trying to make the guy stronger. And there has been like random theories about how, you know, how we're like a player in this game. So then people are like, maybe this is like the battle of gods concept where the gods are the developers, the admins, whatever, and the play and, and we are the player and it's like a tournament arc of, I don't know, different gods with their players. They want to fucking have them all fight each other for their entertainment. I don't really know, but the game, the player aspect of it, they're slowly telling us a little bit more, but there's not enough. Now, with the outcome of killing Huang Dong Suk and his party. There is Lil Bro, and Lil Bro looks pretty big. In fact, Lil Bro looks like Big Bro. He looks fucking jacked, and I'm sure he might come after us. Is he strong? Let's find out in today's reaction. Manager Wu. Manager Wu? Okay, so this is the guy that came to us in the hospital to check us, remember? So he has a suspicion on Sung Jin Wu, but now... Is he gonna do a little bit more inspection on us? Wait... And who was it? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, defeated it. Because, you know, the Pedo in armor. Yeah, Jin Ho had crazy cracked armor. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This guy sucks at his job. <laughs> he like does he's me at my job. Like, don't you think you should do the due diligence and I don't know, maybe look a little bit more into it? He's like, I don't care. Fuck that shit. No, okay. But as soon as he sees Sung Jin Lu's name, he'll probably like be like, oh. Mm. The other hunter. Sung Jin Mu, yeah. Yes. Him, remember him? The power level 10? <laughs> Fang Dong Su, there he is. 35. Because of the younger bro. It's not for you. Oh, is it for her? Bro, we have money to cover fucking hospital bills and fried chicken? This is great. It's because the essence stones that we got, a single essence stone, was like $7,500, bro. Like, USD. And there was multiples of those. And there was the mana crystals all around, which apparently amounted like 1 billion won, right? He can pay the bills. The bills. The headliners. The headliners. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a big payday. We're making money. Our party? I'm strong. They suck. Oh yeah, we did beat the bad guys for sure. It really was easy, he says. I mean, no hesitation. He resented them. According to Annie News, in the novel, Sung Jin Mu was actually happy that he was getting betrayed. He's like, from the beginning of the dungeon, he was like, oh, I can't wait for them to betray me. It's like, oh, I'm gonna kill them. I, I can't wait. Just fucking turn on me. Fucking do it. No, it's a little, it's a little saucy fan service dripping on his legs. So like, this girl's really not gonna ask any more questions on like why Sung Jin would look so different. Like, don't you think Jinna would be like, I know she made like the comment like, yo, did you get taller? Did you get more muscular? But like, don't you think at a certain point, be like, who are you? Where's my real big brother? You're not him. Oh, he'll kill again. Oh, new quest. Harmful substance has been detected. Help them. Oh, is, is this like Rimuru from Slime where they like drink beer and it's because he's drinking beer with chicken right now and the alcohol is like, you know, like poison. So it just like gets rid of it. So you can never get drunk. Yeah, it's poison alcohol. Yeah. It's like poison. Feels bad, man. Can't get drunk anymore. Don't you think your big bro looks different? All right. Wait, look, let's look at Sung Jin Mu's uh, setup. It's pretty clean. Single monitor, though? Ah, you could do a little bit better than that. But I'm but he's pretty poor until now. Yeah, the alcohol is like a debuff, so it's getting rid of it. Wait, wait, quest for it. Quest for it. Current. Courage of the Week was fucking the, 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 the quest that we cleared in episode 2. Great Spellcaster's Candier's Blessing. 
Long lasting buff, health and longevity. What the fuck? Health and longevity. Okay. Just detox, improve region. The great spellcaster Kandiaru has gifted you with a special blessing. With Kandiaru's blessing, you may enjoy a strong and healthy life, as in you can never get drunk again. Who the fuck is Kandiaru? Spellcaster Kandiaru. Okay, that's a name we'll have to remember. Why is it so delayed? Oh no, maybe it's just showing up now because you know he's actually getting rid of the detox, but so uh, it's not the only reward from the fucking courage of the week, but like thanks, you can't I can't get fucking get drunk anymore. Thanks. What the fuck is this name of the cafe? Cafe Penne? Doesn't penne mean something in a different language? Are you serious? You you might as well fucking name your cafe cafe cock. Are you my life, Aniki? <laughs> Alright, oh, right, cause Jinho actually gave us like all his essence stones to like prove his loyalty, but he doesn't need the money, he's already loaded. Yeah, it's a secret. Yeah. Your affection, Aniki. A strike team? Oh come on! You don't have to call a trust fund kid, even though he is. You want me to do 19 fucking raids for you? I mean, maybe this could help us out in the long run too. Is the bow and salute normal for Korean people? Uh, yeah, it is. Like, especially like when you're trying to be like get your point across to like a senior. Like, like yeah, it, it is. Like, it's like um, amongst like peers, not really, but like to someone like a little bit elderly and like you want to like obviously you want to get on their good side, right? So yeah, it's body language like that. He's trying to be a licensed guild master. That's why we need to do like 20 raids for him to get guild master. Wait, 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 wait! We could do something like Iron Koji would. He can be puppet guild master and that guild can be ours. Do we want a guild though? It's called solo leveling. I do it by myself. Why do I need other people helping me out? But this could be interesting. Okay. Second son. So there's a first son too. Wonder what his big bro looks like. So he actually does have a big bro. The dad wants a guild? Is this different from our individual guild? I don't know. Yeah, to make like craft different gear, right? More money. Yeah, you better fucking pay a lot of money for that. Oh, this is the S-Class healer we saw in the beginning of episode 1, but he's retired. Interesting. Chahei-in! Poach Chahei-in! She's so hot! Uh, maybe. Uh, this could be a mutually beneficial relationship, though. How much money you got for me? Is it gonna open up a briefcase of money? 30 billion won? 30 billion? That's 30 times what was in the fucking dungeon last time. Wait! Aren't there other restrictions on why we can't enter dungeons? Right? You need to hit a certain rank or some shit. But like, maybe this is a good way to just like have a proxy guild where we can just use it as like an excuse to enter different shit and then that'll help us level more, right? So this is like mutually beneficial. So you can just keep farming dungeons by operating with this like sh this fucking s <laughs> offshore guild that does exist, but you know? Yeah, you, you like bet on the dungeons, right? Different guilds like bet on like wh who's allowed to go and whatnot, right? That's 40 million dollars, Canadian dollars, 30 billion won. Holy shit. I'm not still sure how leveling up might affect me. So like last episode, his like his physique is changing, but don't you think his mentality is also changing, right? He's becoming more like cold and ruthless. So like, will he continue to go down this dark path? And I talked about this at the end of last episode. You know the common trope of like people, like main characters or other people that's like losing to their dark side and they're like, oh no, I'm losing my humanity and then like the love interest saves them. And I said, you think Juhi's gonna do it? Nah, not gonna be fucking Juhi, dude. It's Chai and come on now, everyone fucking knows that by now, right? Oh no, Jito! Oh. Oh. I don't know, I feel like we could threaten them that if you tell anyone your secret, I'll fucking kill you. Mm. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Just walks away. <laughs> yeah, that was a little bit like a threat, huh? It was. Oh, who is this? Oh, Mr. Lil Bro! This is Hwang Dong Su, the... 
Who, who is this blonde secretary girl? Mm, mm, mm. Cameraman, you stopped at a nice pose. I wish the lighting was a little bit better right now, but... Mm. But I thought you hit your big bro. Don't they have, like, a bad relationship? Laura. Laura is her name. Abroad? Are you not in Japan? Laura is not a Japanese name. Sorry, they're in Korea. My bad. Fuck. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I said they're not in Japan because, you know, usually anime, everybody is in, like, Japan, you know? Because technically, Sung Jimu is in Korea. Yeah, right, right, right. This is a Korean anime. All right, right, right. This is Korea. My, I thought we were in Japan for a second. I was like, wait, wait. No, 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 no. It's Webtoon. It's Korea. So they're in America? Laura? Okay, right, 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 right. Okay, okay. This is Laura. They're, they're in America. Okay. Hwang Dong Su is in America? Why? Trial for overseas murder? Fuck the guild. Yujinho. No, don't hurt him. He looks so different here. So he's 24, actually. Dude, they need, they need to update his fucking picture, man. Like, Hwang dong su won't even know who this kid is. Because he looks so different now, right? So wait, are we only one year older? We're only one year older than Jin Ho. They're pretty much equals, dude. There's no way he would ever recognize Jin Ho like this. He looks so different. Damn. Okay, whenever people have like glowing eyes and like, I guess he's like super strong. Um, this is Skuna's voice actor? Oh shit, all right. Well, okay, we finally have our first main actual threat. Not random monsters, not random fucking, you know, hunters. Like, this is guy's like... He's OG. He's been built up. He's been set up. All right. This is the. Is this the reason why everyone's saying like, bro, episode nine or ten, bro? No, bro. You don't even know. Oh my god. Look at this anime only getting hyped up about fucking episode two. Shut the fuck up. No one likes you if you're fucking webtoon elitist. Okay. Shut the fuck. Up. Let us enjoy it. But people are saying like episode nine or ten. No, that's later. That's some different shit. Huh? Okay. Well. Okay. We got more stuff to look forward to. All right. We doing morning cardio with sister. <laughs> Yeah, you said that you're gonna gain weight. <laughs> a little no. bit of morning cardio. Right. If you have that much money, I don't think you need to go to college anymore. <laughs> it's fucking easy. You just dollar cost average into a tax shelter account, like a Roth IRA, or if you're Canadian tax free savings account, fucking dollar cost average into index fucking ETFs. And you let that shit rest and vest, you're golden. You don't have to do anything for the rest of your life because the money that the money's gonna be making on the interest will always be more than the money you take out from the thing. Fucking use your brains and do something more with your life. That is not financial advice. Don't do that. Actually, you should probably do that though, but it's not financial advice. <laughs> Daily quest done. Nice. Probably should save the full restore for later. Wait, it keeps going beyond? Can we do like 10 days worth right now? And for the next 10 days, you don't have to do daily quest anymore. And every day it'll just like bing, bing, bing. You know what I mean? Maybe? Wait, we might have found a new mechanic to like not do dailies every day. It suck if we actually did all this and then it's just like reset tomorrow. And it's like, fuck you. You know? <laughs> that would suck. Running. See, it's counting. But like. What if it like resets tomorrow? That would suck. Uh oh, oh. Secret quest. Strength. Secret quest. What? Strength training has arrived. Secret quest. Why? You have received be because we did double the thing. Hi. What? Choice of random loot boxes. You got a blessed random loot box or a cursed random loot box. What would you guys pick? Blessed or cursed? I intuitively blessed sounds better than cursed, so you should probably pick blessed. But. I like to spin the gacha. Like, I feel like cursed might be even better. You know? Like, bless sounds good. And yes, you should pick that. Like, 99% of the time, you should pick that. But, like, just like Frieden, like, looking at the mimic and seeing if there's a grimoire or not, that 1% chance, I'm willing to fucking roll the dice, dude. I'll fucking just fucking gacha. I'm going cursed, dude. Huh? Oh, that looks like a new instance dungeon key. That looks like a pretty good key. The Demon Castle's key acquisition difficulty. I mean, the key did look a lot more cooler than the regular silver key we got before, right? The key to end their dungeon, the Demon's Castle, can be used at Dezong Tower. There was a mention of demons there too before, remember? When we were doing, um, we were looking for job quests, there was like a quest, and I think it was like, um, it was the highest, um, 
amount of money offered for the jaw. And it was like people that can control demons or some shit, right? Is that the same kind of demons here? What is this? What is this? But it's S rank acquisition. It's too early for us to go in there, right? I feel like it's way too early. We should save this for later. We're gonna get fucked if we go there now. In the Demon King's castle, you can obtain the ingredients for the elixir of life, which cures all illnesses with powerful magic. Wasted all that fucking money in the hospital bills, dude. What the fuck was the hospital doing? It's literally rents, dude. Like, what are they doing? Maybe there's some equipment there that needs to be plugged. And maybe she needs fucking IV drip. But I swear to God, the hospital is fucking scamming us, dude. But this is the way to cure our mom. All right. Now, I don't trust it. Don't, I don't trust the fucking hospital, dude. They're fucking scamming us. Life support my ass. This bitch has been fucking sitting on this bed for like the, every time we see her. There's nothing hooking her up. No, there's some monitors going beep, beep, beep. I bet that shit's fake too, dude. Now, nah, the hospital's scamming us, dude. They're fucking taking all our money. Wait, were you gonna go in now? Wait, wait, we're going now? You don't think this is a bit early? Yeah, like, bro, how about, how about later? How about next season? Um... Are you sure? Bro, wait, wait! Last time we entered a dungeon in the subway, didn't we get like, you're locked in the dungeon? You can't escape unless you have a teleportation rock. Do we have a teleportation rock? Holy shit, this is a demon world, all right? Yeah, we should get the fuck out. We should get the fuck out right now. No, no, no. Yeah, teleportation rock. First monster we see. Is it gonna be all red? Cerberus. Red name or what? What is it? No, it is Hell's Gatekeeper Cerberus. Like, shouldn't we get the fuck out right now? We should get the fuck out, right? We can't fight this. Are you gonna fight it? All right, Wolf Assassin on. Let's go. Oh, oh shit. All right, we're going in. How much damage? Nothing. Don't we have that um, debuff? Like minus 50% all stats too? There it is, there it is. The Intimidate skill, Murderous Intent. Did it just say fuck you, Murderous Intent? We're too low level to use it properly? No way. Debuff has been ignored? The drain though, will, will it work? Drain doesn't work either! Teleportation rock! Yo, 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 yo! We have full restore from daily quest, right? Alright, bro's arm is gone. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't get one shot. Teleportation! Teleport! Fuck, it's got rage, it buffs all their abilities to 100%. Get out, get out! Oh, he couldn't even fucking finish saying hi hi there, dude. He only said hi -ya. I'm surprised that, like, we're not getting instantly one shot. Because, like, the HP is dropping, but, like, we've taken a couple hits. I thought he'd be done by, like, two hits, you know? Okay, armor's back, instant recovery. Did, did it though? This is so reckless, man. This is so reckless, dude. We're out of full res- Bro? Wait, 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 wait. Did we just gain a skill there? Did we- Willpower. Did we always have this? Willpower level 1, HP 30% or less, buff damage. So when you're at like 30% or less, you're basically damage mitigation 50%. Did we always have this? Or did we just learn it? People are saying, yep, just learned. And other people are saying, no, had it before. You motherfuckers in chat have no idea what you're talking about. You're fucking trolling me. Wait, he just kicked sand on him. We just used pocket sand. <laughs> Bro, maybe we should get the fuck out. Maybe you should get the fuck out. Teleport. Just run for three minutes. Teleport. Yeah. Imagine we lose it. Hey. Hey. Rock? Where did Rock go? Do we still have it? Rock? No shot we lost the rock. No shot we lost the fucking rock. No, 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 no. Maybe this is the perfect situation. Um, there's the other mechanic. Remember? Remember? The, where, where's the other mechanic? If you don't do your... But we fucking finished your dailies today. 
Because, like, if you don't do your dailies, right? If you don't do your dailies, it ports you to the fucking sand desert place to go to the fight with the centipede. So this could be the perfect moment to abuse that. But, like, we already finished the daily today. There's... We're fucked. We're just straight up fucked. Can we, can we put ourselves into the storage? You open up the fucking inventory storage, you fucking jump in there? <laughs> I don't think that's possible either. <laughs> uh, divine... Oh. Oh, we always had merchant shop available, so we can just buy... That's right, we have gold and shit. Oh. Well, I'm surprised that we kicked sand at the guy once and he doesn't know where we are anymore. <laughs> Masaka's Venom Gland. Oh, yeah, this thing. This is the drop from the Venom Snake. And I was like, what the fuck? Because it's like, all right, you reduce 50, like physical damage 20%, but we like get like negative 35. Like this pouch contains a refined Casca poison. On rare occasions, you can harvest this from Casca. Once you drink it, your skin will harden, but your muscles get permanently damaged from the poison. So I'm like, what the fuck? Should we feed it to the Cerberus? Because like if we drink it, that sounds bad. But if we feed it to the Cerberus, the muscles will get permanently damaged. So then we just wait it out. The poison doesn't do shit to us. Because we have debuff clearance. Wait, 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 wait. Drink it! Drink it! So that's what they were doing with the fucking beer scenes. I'm like, they're focusing a lot on the beer stuff. Okay, we got a buff. Already got hit, <laughs> but it should be better now, right? Shouldn't be as bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three minute rage counter is done. He's back down to one X. Maybe we can win now. Are we gonna win? It's looking like we might actually win. Nah, we good, we good, we good. Damn. Dude, we got so little HP left. Bro, buy more potions! Dude. Bro, that scene there, the way he got up. Dude, that might be my favorite sequence right there. Look at this, look, look, this scene right here, the way he just gets up like that. I don't know why, but that part goes hard. the eye and maybe we'll win dude yo his eyes glowing again the voice actor actually goes fucking insane every episode dude all right we actually won we actually fucking won and remember this is just the first monster in the demon gate like i doubt this is a like boss monster like the instance dungeon comparison could be that this is a fucking goblin this could be the fucking red wolf dude like, this is the first thing we saw as soon as we showed up. So like, oh, we got to get the fuck out. So what does this mean, though? Yeah, every time Sam Jimu's eyes light up during, like, really important scenes, does that mean, like, the he's, like, getting more power? People are like, bro, he's unlocking his secret superpowers. And other people are like, no, it's just a fucking aesthetic choice. I don't know. I do love it whenever his eyes start glowing. He starts fucking yelling. Like, I think it's just design choice, right? Just aesthetics. What if he just dies now? <laughs> what if he just dies right now? Okay, you have defeated the Hell's Gatekeeper. Cerberus leveled up, leveled up. Nice, nice, nice. Whoa, whoa, five, six. Is that six levels in one go? And we got healed with the level ups. Five times? Okay. That was worth, but like, that was so fucking reckless. That was beyond reckless. That was fucking like stupid level of recklessness. He is not a cautious hero. He's the opposite, but he still did it. Yeah, not ready perfectly. <laughs> wait, wait, new thing. Not ready perfectly. Item, castle door key. We got that from Cerberus. This key unlocks the door to the demon's castle. No. No, 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 no. We get the fuck out and we wait till like second or third season. No, no. Oh, you got a fang for defeating Cerberus? This could be crazy mad. Item, gatekeeper's collar. That is so sus. Look, the agility and perception plus 20 of the stats is nice, but like, you have to put a collar on. <laughs> look, look, the stats are nice, but like, the only collar that I'd be wearing is Tanka's collar for Little Slave, but it's some bondage woo. I, I don't know what's up, man. Man, have to start wearing a turtleneck. Question. Whoa, 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 whoa. Question mark. Huh? 
What, what, what is it? Scroll? Is that a... Elixir of life formula. Learn how to craft elixir. Okay, so this is like, you know, you, you need the fucking recipe. Okay. This is good. This is good. Three items are needed to craft elixir of life. They can be found in the demon's castle, a mystical potion. Again, this is for our mom. So we need to have like, we need to kill like three different monsters. If we're not ready. You dead. Yeah, we'll be back. Even the gatekeeper was a bit too much, but we'll be back. I can't believe you fucking went in. And that's the episode? And that's the episode. God damn it, dude. These soul leveling episodes go by so fast. And next episode, there is an unfortunate hiatus. It's a recap episode. So it is what it is. We're going to have to wait fucking two weeks for Huang Dong Su to show up. So what do we do this episode, right? We basically have learned that Manager Wu has got his suspicions up, right? We're back on his radar on... Or is he a second reawakened? What's up with this guy, right? He's being reintroduced. We have a little bit of Jinna scenes, but mostly this was just for like the poison and debuff resistance, right? Because it's like, not poison. It's just like it, po alcohol is a poison. So like it's, it's, it's kind of like setting out for the future where we drink Pasca's Venom for the buffs, right? So that's what that was. Other stuff was Jinho's guild. So Jinho has some ambitions to become a guild master, but because he has no, you know, practical competence, you need Sung Jin Mu to clear all 20 dungeons and then he'll get in. Interesting what they're, I don't know what they're going to do really set that up, but because like guilds like bid for different dungeons and gates, maybe this will help Sung Jin Mu operate, right? Because like he is just like going solo, but I bet having like a proxy guild like Jin Ho's would be somehow how helpful some of the other stuff was this guy right Huang Dong Su so people are saying he's from America and he's like an S rank hunter so he got poached by American money his bro said fuck Korea I'm gonna go here now his brother's dead now he's trying to figure out what happens if I kill someone overseas and trying to see what the penalties are so I thought Huang Dong Su and Huang Dong Su the bros a big bro and little bro based on the brief dialogue of what Huang Dong Su was saying last episode I thought they were on bad terms so he wouldn't really care if his big bro died but Seems like there's a bit of a vengeance going on right now, right? So I don't know how the fuck Huang Dong Su is gonna recognize Jin Wu, Jin Wu, because like look at him. Like, there is no shot you're ever gonna recognize this guy anymore. So there might be even a funny scene in the future where it's like, what? You're him? What do you mean? Right? So this is leading up to something pretty cool in the future. Anything else? And then the rest was just the demon's castle, right? So another instance dungeon opened. This time it's a fucking cracked instance dungeon, right? Like in this thing, the Cerberus is the equivalent of like a goblin or like the red lichen, right? In the beginning. This is not a Kasaka. The Kasaka is within the demon castle and we need to collect three different things to create this cure-all elixir for mom, right? So that's the, pretty much the overall goal right now. Get stronger, uh, clear the demon castle, get mats for mom's elixir, and when mom wakens, I don't know where we're going with it, but that's pretty much it. If y'all are still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care. And remember, hiatus next week. Wah, wah.